What's up, I'm Vin, and today I wanna to show how to find the third side of a triangle given two sides in the area. And this question comes from a high school math competition. So what we could do here is just draw something out. So we have a triangle, and we know that two sides are five and six units long, and we know the area of this triangle is nine square units. Well, in general, just know that the area of a triangle, we could say, is equal to one half, and then what we have is we have one side, in this case, five units long, times the other side, which is six units long, times sine of the angle between them. So this is how we use trigonometry to find the area of a triangle. And what we could do here is we could, we could replace the area with nine, and this is gonna give us nine equals, and this is 30 times a half, which is 15. So we have nine equals 15 times sine of angle theta. And then to solve for sine of theta, we're just gonna divide both sides by 15, and that's gonna give us sine theta equals nine over 15. Now what we could do with this equation here, we have sine theta equals nine over 15, is we could reduce this, divide the top and bottom by three, and that's gonna give us three fifths. And now if we just draw out a random triangle here, a right triangle, we have angle theta over here, and sine is the ratio, if we write out Sokotoa, sine is the ratio of the side opposite to the hypotenuse. So we could label opposite of theta three and the hypotenuse five, and notice this is a three, four, five right triangle. You could use Pythagorean theorem to find that missing side, but we're just gonna use the fact that this is a three, four, five triangle. And what I wanna do from here, this might seem a little bit abstract, like why are we looking at this triangle here? Well, if we know sine theta is three over five, that tells us that cosine theta is gonna equal four over five. So now we have to think about what information do we know? We know two sides of this triangle and we know what cosine of theta is. So now we could use the law of cosines and we're gonna use the law of cosines with this side five, six, and the angle between them, theta. So we could write out this equation. We have five squared plus six squared minus two times five times six times cosine of theta is equal to the side opposite of theta. We'll call that C is equal to C squared. And now the rest of this is algebra. So this is gonna work out. We would have 25 plus 36, and 25 plus 36 is 61. So we have 61 minus 2 times 5 is 10, times 6 is 60. So we have 61 minus 60 cosine of theta is equal to c squared. And now we just make a substitution. Cosine theta is equal to 4 fifths. So we have 61 minus 60 times 4 fifths is equal to c squared. And now we just got to simplify this. 60 over 5 is 12. So this is going to give us 61 minus 48 after we do 12 times 4 equals c squared. And now 61 minus 48 is 13. So 13 equals c squared, which tells us the length of the third side, c, is equal to the square root of 13.